So uh, welcome to uh, this um, webinar about the PhD program. Uh, I'd like to introduce myself. Uh, my name is Guy Paré. I am a professor of information technologies at HEC Montreal and the holder of the research chair in digital health. But it is more in my capacity as a director of the PhD program that I would like to uh, welcome you all to this webinar. So the session will be organized as follows. Next slide, please. So um, in the first part, I will do a, I will make a short presentation of about 15 minutes um, trying to convince you why you should uh, come to HEC Montreal to pursue your um, doctoral studies in business. And uh, then I will invite two of our current PhD candidates, Anshu and Armel, to introduce themselves and to share with you their experience as a, stu as a doctoral student at HEC Montreal. And that should leave us with about 20 minutes for a Q&A session. I just want to manage expectations here. We might not have uh, enough time to answer all the questions, but there's no problem because after the session, it will always be possible for you to communicate with us via email. And at the end of the session, you will have the address, uh, address of uh, Natalie, my assistant, who will be more than happy to answer all of your questions. Next slide, yeah. So the main question I want to uh, address during this webinar is why should any candidate consider seriously coming to HEC to do a PhD in business? So in my viewpoint, there are six main reasons to do that. And I will go over each of them. So the first one is about the rigorous academic training that you will receive. Next slide, please. Next slide, please. So uh, all students that are uh, attending our program um, can be assured that they will receive the most rigorous um, training, academic training and supervision during their stay with us. As you may already know, HEC Montreal is a very dynamic and product, uh, productive research hub. Um, as you can see on this slide, HEC is figures in the world's top 100 business schools according to quality of its research publication. Uh, it is in the top 70 in North America. This is quite something. Uh, at the school, currently we have uh, over 50 research chairs, centers, and research groups. And on average, every week at HEC, there are about five research activities going on. And as you can see at the bottom of the slide, we spend on average $30 million a year in order to support research activities. And a large proportion of that budget is for scholarships for grad students. Next slide. So the excellence of the work produced at HEC is recognized internationally. As a clear uh, and objective sign of that, we have obtained what we call here the triple accreditation. So HEC Montreal is one of the very, very few business schools throughout the world to obtain the three most prestigious accreditations, AMBA, AACSB, and AQUIS. We're very, very proud of that. Next slide. So you must also know if you have visited our website that uh, HEC Montreal is one of the very, very few doctoral programs in the world to offer such a large and diverse uh, set of uh, disciplines. So going from accounting studies to finance to data science, uh, org, behavior, 
uh, information technology, just to name a few. So we cover a very, very broad range of disciplines, and we're very happy to that. In fact, you must know that HEC Montreal is one of the largest uh, business schools in the world with 275 faculty members, full-time faculty members. Next slide, please. The second reason why you should consider seriously coming to HEC to do your PhD is, a, is related to financing. So every admitted student at HEC, without exception, gets funding. It's, for, it's funding for a four-year period, uh, minimally. So you can have funding for um, the fifth year. But we guarantee you if a funding for four years, which includes uh, between twenty and $25,000 a year in the form of internal scholarship. In addition to that, you have a tuition fee waiver and we give you $5,000 for participation in scientific activities, be it conferences, workshop, and so on. Beyond and above that funding package, you can also apply for external funding, scholarships. And you must know that at HEC, we have one person, one staff, who is dedicated to help graduate students obtain external funding. And that person, Marie-France, does an exceptional work. Next slide. The third reason is the uh, student experience. So at HEC, we do everything we can to make your stay with us the most stimulating and exciting possible. Next slide. Yes. Yeah. So uh, we we take many um, uh, steps to achieve that objective, and one of them is the presence of an academic advisor in each of the twelve disciplines. One of the role of that person, who is a faculty, uh, is to guide you during the first few years of your program, helping you decide which courses you should attend. Uh, whose faculty members should be on your different committees and so on. We also have integration workshops. Those are very important, especially for international students who have never lived in Montreal. So we have one workshop that will tell you everything you need to know before you come to Canada and to Montreal. There's another workshop that we give that tell you um, everything you need to know before starting your studies at HEC Montreal. So those workshops are uh, conducted in collaboration with student services. Then we have about 30 academic workshops a year that we offer that cover a very broad range of topics. Um, two of the most popular ones are um, um, academic uh, scientific writing in English. So that workshop helps students to develop their writing skills. Um, and we have another one, a more recent one, about how to develop your skills, your oral skills, when you go to conferences and you have to present your, your work. So, um, and, and there are many, many other workshops that we, we offer to our uh, PhD students at HEC. Um, one other aspect that is very important is, is that we want to prepare you the best possible in terms of uh, teaching. So many of our graduate students will uh, enter the academic, uh, well, enter academia, and one, a big part of their job will be to teach courses. So we want to make sure that by the time that you graduate from our program, that you have developed those skills. So during the third year, you will be paired with a faculty in your department and you will um, do some shadowing. So you will go to class with that faculty. You will attend all the sessions during the semester. And you will also take 
a, um, a teaching preparation workshop. And by the end of the third year, you will be ready to start teaching in your fourth year, that very same course that you, uh, you attended with the, the faculty. For those of you who don't speak French, because you must know that HEC Montreal is a French speaking school, uh, school although most of our courses at the doctoral uh, level are in English. Uh, for those of you who are not Francophone, we have what we call the French language course series. So, and there is six levels of, of, um, of courses that we offer, and those are free of charge for PhD students. So that's a, a fantastic way for you to learn the language. Uh, of course, the student association is very active and offers, uh, organizes different social activities uh, that are very appreciated by all PhD students. And uh, I, I also need to highlight the work, uh, the fantastic work of the student services uh, department uh, who offers exceptional services in terms of uh, psychological support, uh, help for students with disabilities and so on. So we have a, a, uh, a great collaboration with the student association as well as with the student services. Next slide, please. The fourth reason is um, related to the fact that HEC Montreal is part, of, is part of what we call the joint program. Next slide. So you, you may already know that um, uh, McGill, Concordia, and UCAM, as well as HEC Montreal are part of this joint doctoral program, which means that as a student at HEC, you can take courses at any of the three other business schools. Uh, so this is fantastic because you have access to so many faculty in your own discipline. And in terms of supervision, because this is a joint program, we uh, require each student to have on their, uh, his or her committee one member one faculty member from one of the other three business schools. So you will always have, always have someone from either McGill, Concordia, or UCAM on your committees. And of course, you have access to all the resources in those schools as well. For instance, the library. So this is very, very unique. And many universities are jealous of our program because of that. Of its, of its, uh, of its uh, joint nature. Next slide, please. The fifth reason is uh, our exceptional placement rate. So you must know that we have about uh, 450 graduates as of today, uh, and all of them, without exception, have a job, either as a uh, faculty member in a university as a researcher in a research unit, research center, or in the industry. So about 80% 80 of our graduates have decided to pursue an academic career, and 20% have decided to go to the industry. Next slide. These are only a few uh, uh, of the schools where some of our very recent uh, graduates have uh, started working as uh, assistant professors. So um, you, you see in this list uh, schools in Quebec, elsewhere in Canada, in the States, and in Europe. Next slide. The last reason uh, why you should consider HEC Montreal as a home for your doctoral study, studies in, in business is the stimuli, stimulating life environment. Uh, you may already know that we have two buildings, two facilities so far that we call the Code St. Catherine building and the Bessel building. Uh, those are um, uh, 
ex uh, exceptional facilities equipped with cutting cutting edge uh, technologies, not only in the classrooms but also uh, in the computer labs and um, uh, in the library, for instance. Uh, and uh, there is a third facility currently under construction <clears throat> that will be located downtown in Montreal that should open uh, in fall 2022. So here are a few uh, pictures of the main building at uh, the Côte Saint Catherine uh, facility. So you see in a, a classroom, the cafeteria, uh, and uh, you, you also see the library. I must say about the library that this is one of the largest bilingual library in the business field in North America. So virtually you can have access to any type of document related to business, business fields. Uh, we have access to all the, the main databases. Uh, so this is quite exceptional. Next slide, please. I must also say a few words about Montreal itself. Since you're going to be spending a few years with us, uh, as you know, Montreal is known to be a city oriented towards university life. In fact, in the next slide, uh, it, it, there is a clear evidence that, um, yes, if you can move to the next slide, please. Uh, a very recent survey shows that Montreal figures among the 10 best universities in the world in 19, uh, 2019. Uh, the criteria that were used during that survey uh, referred to the student experience, the ranking of the universities, the desirability of living in the city, the activity of employers, and the cost of living, which is quite good for a, a city of that size. Next slide. Oh, OK. Well, that's all for me. Uh, so I hope my, my uh, speech was convincing enough. Uh, and uh, now I will turn it uh, to um, Anshu. I will ask you to introduce yourself uh, briefly and, and share with uh, the group your, your own experience uh, as a doctoral student. And, and once you're done, you have about five to seven minutes, and then once you're done, we're, we're going to turn it to uh, Armel. Sure. Thank you, Guy. Thank you for the wonderful presentation. So <clears throat> my name is Anshu, and I am a PhD student in marketing at HEC. I am currently in my fourth year of PhD. And um, as Guy mentioned, uh, generally students in the fourth year, they teach. So I'm currently working on my thesis and also teaching a course that I shadowed before. Uh, and honestly, my experience with HEC Montreal has, not, has been nothing but uh, wonderful. You have access to a great faculty at HEC. You have excellent professors like Guy, Sylvain Senecal, uh, my co-supervisor, Yanni Gregoire. So you have a great team of wonderful researchers at HEC. And then you have the great opportunity of taking courses at uh, the joint program. So I've taken a lot of courses with uh, McGill, Concordia. So definitely a great asset and uh, for HEC. And uh, yeah, so uh, you have, the funding is great too, honestly, and the school, uh, basically facilitates you to go visit uh, conferences, participate in conferences. So you will get uh, research funding wherever you are presenting your papers in conferences. So that's uh, an additional point. And you have, uh, so I'm currently a part of two chairs actually. I mean, I work with people who are the chairs of uh, two marketing uh, 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 research chairs. So I work with a lab that is called Tech3 Lab. So that is uh, a really cutting edge lab, uh, one of the best. I think it's, it's the biggest neurophysiological lab in the whole of North America. So actually, Amel and I, 
uh, who are presenting today. We are both part of Tech3 Lab. So you have access to this great lab, which has uh, neurophysiological tools that are best in the world, definitely. So you're always doing research that is relevant and current. And uh, other than that, you can be uh, you can work with a great team of professors uh, from not only HEC, you can also collaborate with uh, other people in the joint program. So that is also definitely one of the biggest assets. And lastly, as Guy said, Montreal is a great city to live in. So if you are an international student, I think I've lived in a couple of cities across North America, and I will tell you Montreal is my favorite city to be in. So uh, uh, that is another thing. And if you are not bilingual, that is not a problem. I am still not bilingual. I am learning French, but uh, I took a few courses at HEC uh, Montreal, like uh, Guy said, but I am still not fluent in French and that works out fine for me. The courses in uh, uh, for PhD at HEC Montreal and other joint uh, universities are generally um, in English. So um, that was not a problem for me personally. And um, yes, so uh, I think I've spoken about everything. Uh, oh yes, and I would definitely uh, want to highlight that the first two years of your PhD program at HEC Montreal will be coursework, where your supervisors, your uh, co-supervisors will help you select courses and build a foundation that is uh, strong enough for research. So if you have no research background like me, I think that's also a very uh, good uh, plus that we have here. And I was able to take uh, great courses, the faculty, not only in marketing, I actually took a couple of courses in statistics and data science. And the faculty at HEC Montreal is actually, I may be biased, but uh, actually uh, the faculty at HEC Montreal was better than uh, even the partners in joint program, especially in data science and stats. So uh, yeah, so, so uh, if you are a person, uh, international student, definitely uh, HEC Montreal is one of the best courses you can find globally. It's a well-recognized course, provides you with all the uh, assets, everything that you need. That's it from me. If you have any questions, please feel free to email me. I will leave my email uh, in the chat box. Thank you so much, uh, Anshu. Very, very yeah. much appreciated. Uh, Armel, can you introduce yourself? Okay. Hello, do you hear me? Hello? Yeah, do you hear me? Okay. Yes, it's yes. Fine now. It's fine now. Hello, everyone. Um, uh, thank you, Guy, for this presentation. Um, my, my name is, uh, is uh, Chanu. My first name is Armel Quentin. I'm a 40 year PhD student in information technology. Um, so um, I'm currently um, uh, heading to the end of my uh, on, of, of my program of my PhD program, uh, uh, as I had the, the, the chance to to work uh, heavily on different aspects of the thesis uh, within a short period of time, which is one of the advantage that. Uh, uh, we, we can have in the in, in the in, in the environment in which uh, we study. So uh, currently, also I, I, I'm teaching a course at HEC, uh, which is part of uh, the the teaching experience that uh, HEC gave me the, the, the opportunity to to have, and uh, which is very important when you go to the to to, to the job market to to find a job, uh, especially in academia. And uh, I can tell you that uh, it was really helpful uh, to me personally. So I will talk about a couple of points. Uh, uh, first, uh, why as uh, HEC is a great environment, is the is the the the, 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 the doctoral school to to choose. Uh, first, uh, at HEC you have the opportunity to meet with uh, international 
with internationally renowned professors uh, who are really uh, reference, uh, re who are really references in their in their disciplines. Uh, for example, uh, all my my professors, almost all my professors, are really reference uh, researchers in in my field in the in the information system field. Uh, when you go to uh, in the to the literature, you can see uh, the, the 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 amount of work they they, they have done, uh, how much uh, they they are they, their research work is is recognized as uh, uh, a high quality work as and used uh, everywhere in the in the world as reference research work. So this is a great op opportunity we had, and um, and this. Also contributed to to um, to, uh, to to improving the quality of of our uh, resume. Uh, for example, uh, when we apply for scholarships, these are important point uh, 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 in, in our in, in our application. And personally, I had the opportunity to 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 be granted uh, several scholarships uh, at HC and. Uh, 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 at the Canada level and the Quebec level also. So uh, the, the HEC environment really helped me uh, to, to get all those scholarships in addition to, 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 the, to, the, um, to the admission scholarship that uh, the, the, the school uh, gives. So uh, on the financial aspect, it was really a great experience for me personally and uh, I'm really grateful uh, to HEC uh, for giving me all those uh, credentials that, that helped me to, to get all those uh, for funding. Um, so you get a very competitive uh, uh, resume at the end of your, of your PhD program here uh, because the school is, is very competitive. The, comp the curriculum at, at HC is very competitive and very re relevant to, uh, for any kind of career you want to pursue, either in academia or in the industry. Uh, and uh, doctoral students work together, they develop their skills together. They, there's a great teamwork here. Um, and uh, you have the chance to, to work in, in uh, research, uh, uh, re in research structures uh, such as uh, the GRAZI, which is a, a great uh, research uh, uh, institution at HEC uh, in, in information uh, systems. Uh, you have the opportunity to, to, to work also in other structures which are really renowned uh, internationally. For example, me, uh, as Anshu said, I'm part of the Tech3 Lab, which is a very dynamic environment the largest uh, lab in North America in, in user experience. And uh, it's an environment in which we have the opportunity to, to, do, men to do mentoring, to, me to mentor uh, uh, ma master students, which is very key when you go to the job market because uh, several universities look for people who are able to, to do mentorship to, to their student and uh, you, you, you come out from ATC already with that experience of mentoring, uh, which uh, in general uh, uh, is acquired when you're already a professor in a, in a university. So it was really uh, 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 privileged uh, for me uh, in, in that lab. Uh, another point is that uh, at ATC you have very quickly uh, the opportunity to, to publish article right from the first semester uh, of your study. Uh, uh, you, you have the opportunity to, to, to publish even the, the, uh, some works that are related to your term papers. Uh, because the program is very rigorous, uh, the, the generally uh, term papers, students are, are able to, 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 pr to produce term papers that are of high quality and and sometimes can be uh, published uh, to some uh, uh, conferences. In my case, uh, my, the first paper I, I published uh, was a term paper that uh, I, I developed during uh, one course, a strategy management course uh, 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 in the program. 
and I published it in the, the, the ASAC uh, conference. And uh, within the, the same year, I, I, I also had the opportunity to publish a, another paper, which, which was my summer paper, the, 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 the paper what, that we, we write, that we develop uh, in the first uh, summer of the uh, curriculum, uh, based on, on the study that uh, we, we can do, either in the lab, uh, we are part of, or any other structure in the, in, in the school. And uh, one point I, I, I was forgetting about uh, the Tech Lab is that uh, we are able to, uh, we, we do work with the industry, uh, directly with the industry on industry pro uh, problems, on, in, on industry uh, issues uh, to, to help them uh, figure out uh, uh, different uh, topics about uh, uh, their research and development. So it's, uh, it, it's a really great opportunity for, for us because uh, at the end, we are not only um, skilled for academia work, but also we are skilled for, 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 for industry uh, work. So we can do research in, in the industry, we can do research in academia. So the program is very, is very um, uh, diverse in that, uh, in, in that perspective. So uh, uh, the program is really uh, uh, helpful for in general for the CV. I, I, I got my SAP certification for free at HEC because PhD students uh, are entitled to, to a free training uh, on, on SAP uh, and a free certification uh, uh, exam. So it, it was really great for, uh, for example, the, 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 the exam was what more than 10,000 or about $10,000 uh, and I, I could do it, uh, I could do the training and the exam for free. And there are several other uh, 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 opportunities that we have at HEC like that. And uh, so uh, to, to finish, I would say that uh, uh, being about to end my program, I can the, realize how much uh, this environment was was uh, instrumental or, or was very uh, useful very rich uh, to, for me to build a good uh, uh, cv uh, for job application uh, which uh, led me to to actually uh, get a tenure track uh, uh, professor position at the university of sherbrooke uh, in, in, in the management school. Uh, so I'm already hired at, uh, in, in, in the University of Sherbrooke, uh, but I've, I've not completed my PhD yet. So you can imagine how much uh, the, 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 the school was, uh, was helpful in, in building uh, a good CV that would be competitive even with, uh, um, with positions in, in which normally uh, a PhD is required, so I could compete with uh, uh, postdoctoral uh, uh, people, with uh, with uh, PhD people, and I really had the, the, the chance to to, to uh, and I could say also that I, I was lucky. But uh, HEC was a key aspect of my CV with the the, the, the directors uh, that uh, we have. And the reputation of the school. So, uh, uh, only all, all, all in all, uh, I really recommend you to to choose this school, which uh, will uh, give you the opportunity to to work in your own language uh, and to learn French. If you want? I'm a French-speaking person, but I did the program in English. You'll be doing it in English, and you can be able to learn uh, a French uh, and be in a French uh, city and develop really that, uh, that uh, language uh, skills. So um, if you want to talk to me, uh, I will write uh, like Andrew did, my uh, email address in the chat. So you can send me an email. I'll be happy to, uh, to answer some of the, of the question you may have. So thank you for- Thanks. Thank you very much, Armel. Very much appreciated. So now we, uh, we move to the Q&A session. Uh, I've, I've looked at some of the questions that have already been uh, uh, posted on the chat. Uh, so before I, I, I answer some of them, I'd like to um, uh, 
mention something I didn't insist enough during my, my presentation, uh, which is the fact that not only at HEC, we have exceptional researchers in each discipline, but one thing that is very important is um, the connection with industry. And Armel mentioned it uh, in his uh, presentation. And, and I wanted to insist on that because uh, one of the questions in the chat is about preparing students for industry jobs. And I think in um, many of the fields we have in the PhD program, we do such a very good job because there are um, good connection with industry. And in, in uh, many of the fields, the, the goal is to solve business problems. So very applied. Uh, and um, uh, HEC Montreal has a extraordinary reputation in the industry, not only in Montreal, but in, in Canada in general. So uh, this is something you need to know, okay? Um, there is one question that is very important is about the job market. Of course, I understand that you must be concerned because of the current COVID uh, situation that the job market may not be as um, uh, easy as it, it used to be. Um, but be sure that um, the training you will receive at HEC will prepare you. You will be among the best in the market. So your chances of having a job, I mean an academic job, are still very, very, very good. So uh, again, uh, Armel mentioned that also in his presentation, uh, faculty members at HEC are known across the world, have very good connections with uh, faculty working in other schools throughout the world. So this can be very helpful as well. Uh, and for those of you who are looking for a job in the market, the same thing, as I just mentioned, HEC Montreal has a very, very good reputation in the industry. So you should take those factors into consideration. Um, well, there was a, a question that was very specific uh, about financial engineering. Uh, why do a PhD, not only an MSc degree? Uh, what's the, the added value for someone who, uh, who wants to pursue a career in the industry? Well, uh, that question, that would not be fair if I would answer that because I'm not an, a specialist in that domain. But if you write uh, to uh, Natalie, you will see her email. She will direct, she will direct you to, um, she will connect you with the uh, academic advisor or financial engineering, and you will be uh, able to, to chat with that person and understand why a PhD uh, may be a good, uh, a good thing to do. Um, in terms of number of admissions, um, we admit between 25 and 30 new students each year. Uh, that means that we, we have room for about two to three new students per discipline. So this is a very, very competitive program. So you must, you must pay lots of attention when you prepare your admission file. Uh, speaking of which, uh, some of the questions were regarding the test, the admission test, the GMAT and TOEFL. So again, we understand that these are exceptional times, unusual times. So if for any reason you cannot take those tests for next year's admission, this is okay. You can still submit your file to HEC and your candidacy will be considered. So this is possible. If you can take the test, we strongly encourage you to, to do that. 
and provide us with your results. But if for any reason this is not possible, but you strongly believe that you have solid research skills and this is pursuing a PhD is what you want to do, then please submit your application file to us. Okay, and it, it will be considered. Um, those are, uh, yeah, admission tests I just mentioned. Uh, there was one question about what may be the most uh, challenging aspects of the PhD. So I would like Anshu and Armel maybe to come and briefly on that. So um, I wouldn't say, but um, the program is very research intensive, which is an asset. It helps you get a job. It makes you uh, a really good researcher, but the program is very research intensive. So keep that in mind that you will, at any point in time, you will be working on a couple of different research projects and you have to love research, honestly. So if you are not very inclined to do a PhD, you, uh, you are not, uh, you don't have any love for research, it can get difficult. But personally, um, most of the people I know who joined PhD do it because we love research. We do research for the lovers of it. So if you feel the same, it's a great program. But if you don't, then it can get difficult because research is intensive. Armel, you want to add something to, uh, to that? Um, yeah, I will, I will say uh, be prepared uh, because um, uh, from right from the beginning, you have to be hardworking yeah. because there's uh, um, the, the, the courses are intensive and the, the, the different seminars uh, are intensive because there is a lot of uh, material to cover and very important material for researchers. So it's intensive and you really need to be dedicated uh, to, to the program. Uh, the, first, the first two years are, are more intensive uh, in the sense that you, um, you are following uh, a, a specific uh, requirement for the different uh, seminars. Uh, but uh, even during the, the first summer, you already had the, the chance to, to do something else, which is to work uh, directly on the study and, uh, and develop an, an article that you can publish in uh, good conferences or journals. Uh, so uh, after the, the second year, you, you have the opportunity to um, so you, 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 you have to do a, a comprehensive exam, which is uh, something also demanding, uh, but uh, if you are dedicated to your program, that's, uh, it's, it will go really well because it's, it, it doesn't come from, uh, from nowhere. It, it's about things that, uh, uh, you have, uh, uh, that, that you have learned and that you have materials for. So it's uh, very... Uh, um, it's a, it's it's something important that in which you you have to be dedicated, and after that you have to to do the the the, the, the research proposal. Uh, so those times are very different from the first two years because you have uh, more flexibility in managing your time, in managing in managing your requirements. So, um, but globally, I would say uh, be prepared uh, because. You have to really be dedicated, but you also learn uh, strategies to uh, how uh, as, as, as to how to tackle the, the, the different um, the, the different uh, coursework that you have to do. In the beginning, uh, you will you will feel that need to 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 get uh, those strategies, and you will learn those strategies, which will be helpful for the rest of your life. You will not read the uh, research work the same way uh, uh, ever again. Uh, mm -hmm. So you will really learn those skills, but it takes dedication. You will have to, to really love what you do and uh, be happy uh, 
to move on with. Thank, thank you, Armel. Uh, I'd like to answer a few more questions that I, I think are very important. Uh, one is uh, regarding uh, should we should you contact super, potential supervisors before submitting your application file? Totally. We we strongly suggest that you uh, get in touch with faculty members that you think could be potential supervisors during your doctoral studies. So uh, ask for a, a, a meeting with uh, one or many of them, uh, discuss your about your interests with, with uh, you, uh, learn more about their style of supervision. Uh, this is very important. So definitely I would, I would encourage you to do that uh, and not wait because uh, uh, you will be assigned to a supervisor right from the beginning. Given our financing model, you know, we need to, faculty members need to make some commitments. So it's, it's, it's in your own interest to uh, uh, engage, um, uh, to start co uh, communicating with, with uh, faculty members. Uh, the second question is about uh, courses that you should uh, be taking. Should you only take courses in your own discipline or outside? Some of them be outside of your discipline. I would strongly suggest to take courses outside. There are many uh, uh, multidisciplinary courses that we offer. Uh, two examples of that are uh, a course on theory building. So students from different disciplines are taking that seminar. Uh, and the other one is the course that I teach on literature reviews and knowledge synthesis. So in my class, I have students from every discipline as well. So those are only two examples, but there are many other courses that we offer that you, you uh, as a student are in, in, uh, in the classroom with students from uh, four, five, six, seven disciplines, which I think is a very good thing uh, as a student. So I think we have only one uh, or two minutes left. So I'm looking at um, the list of questions uh, how many professors are usually in a PhD student's research committee? Uh, three. If you have two co-supervisors, which may happen, then you have four. But normally in a committee, you have, you have three members. Is it possible to have information about PhD calendar admission in financial engineering? Again, you should contact my assistant, Nathalie, and she will provide you the information. Um, 5,000 beyond the 20, yes, it is beyond. Um, the 2025 depends on what it depends on the money available by the, the faculty member who accepts to uh, supervise you and, and finance your studies, basically. The placement rates are, are um, excellent in every discipline, so you don't, you don't have to worry about that. Um, well, um, so I will have to conclude here. Uh, before we go, I would like to thank uh, Anshu and Armel for their um, testimonial. Very, very much appreciated. Uh, thank you, everyone, for attending. Uh, thank you uh, to everyone who uh, organized that uh, webinar. I hope that you appreciated it. Again, if we didn't have time to uh, answer your questions, feel free to contact Natalie. You see now on this slide her email address. Um, so it will be a great pleasure to, uh, to uh, clarify your questions. And uh, we look forward to receiving your application files. Uh, and don't forget, the deadline uh, for next year's admission is January 1st. So it's, it's in a, just a few weeks. OK? Thank you again, everyone, and have a great day. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.